Hi, welcome back. Today we're making a basket with woven size. Make the pieces that we're weaving together, I cut one inch strips of um, quilt batting and then two and a half inch wide strips of fabric. And I press down just a little bit on one side and then I'm gonna, I just place the batting here and I'm just folding this in like this and then folding that up like that. And I'm just gonna do that right across the strips. And then when after that all is done, we're just gonna sew along each side of the strip. So I've sewn up all my strips. I've cut all the contrast color into seven inch strips. And I have three of the main color that are 22 inches long, and then 10 seven inch strips of the contrast color that are seven inches long. Now I have over here, I've cut two pieces that are 22 inches long and they're three inches wide. And I have some iron-on stabilizer on the back and it's a medium weight and I put it on both pieces. So now we're going to face the one, have the one facing up and we're gonna pin across the, across the front here, one inch apart, these strips here. So I've pinned these together and I actually need 11 of these to put across evenly and what I did was I actually started about a half inch away from the beginning and, and I left space at the end so when we sew it together in a circle there'll be a little bit of space there to make it um, like a full basket weave right around and then I'm going to take this piece and pin it on top carefully and I'm gonna sew right across the top here. After sewing across here, open it up, press down with an iron and sew right, top stitch right across here. So now that I have everything ready, we can start weaving. The first thing we're gonna do is pull down every other strap And then we're gonna just push this one in as tight as we can against the bottom, leave a space at the end here. We're sewing up the seam and pin it in. And going right across the top here. And the other side, you do the same thing, just pin it in. The next row, we're going to do the opposite.
Now that I have everything here, I'm just going to go and uh, stitch across um, close to the edge, right down each side, just to hold it together. The next thing we're going to be doing is sewing the top piece on and that'll hold everything together. So I've cut a three inch strip here as well. So to help make it easier to sew close to the top of the row of the weaving, turn it over and just sew it on as close as you can right here. So these two pieces are six and a half by five inches and I just rounded the edges and one side has the quilt batting on it and the other side has the stabilizer on it and I'm going to stitch it together like this.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe and have a great day. Bye for now.